we're looking in chapter four and defining new methods. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just look at some of this code right here and uh, just grab this. We got a public static void. This is a method. And now we have another method called main right here. So I'm going to grab all this code, copy it, and create some space in here to paste it. Now it comes in all jumbled, so we're going to highlight all, control A, and format, alt, shift, F, tabs it over nicely. And now we already got an error. Let's see what it says. Method main already defined. So we got two main methods. One is here and one is here. Methods have to have their own unique name. Uh, they can have duplicate names, but the signature has to be different. We'll talk about that later, but for now, they can't have the same name. So I'm going to delete the old main method right here along with those comments. And we could run it the way it is. Uh, what does new line do? Well, this is a method call because it has parentheses here. Uh, so what it does, it calls the method up here. So first thing that happens, it prints the first line. And then on the method call, it goes up here to this new line method and runs this print statement. And then it comes back and executes the next line, which in here is called uh, prints out second line. And that's what we saw right here. That blank line in between was caused by this. So I'm just going to change it to say hello right there instead. And we'll run it again. It puts hello in there. There's extra space right here. I'll just leave that in. Now I'm going to duplicate, control, shift down, and then alt shift down to move it. I'm going to duplicate this another time and run it. And what happens every time new line runs, it prints out hello right here. Uh, so that'll take care of the first part. Uh, now, I encourage you to do this, but instead, uh, actually, we'll just do that right now. We'll call this one three line. Put it right in here. Format. Uh, it's still called new line right there. Uh, now I want to run this method three line, so I'm going to replace this with three line, three line. I'll put three line down there. All right, we'll run it again, and what you think is going to happen? It's going to run every time three line is called. It's going to run new line three times in a row. So that's what we get right here from that output. And then we'll look at flow next using the debugger. <clears throat> 